just an update. Mythos is playing and uh, Zeus has just taken over Cronus. These are exciting times. Hello, welcome back to the channel. So, um, so I'm gonna listen to an audiobook and I'm gonna do some reading. So I thought, let's do, let's do a vlog. It is 1.16 on a Wednesday. And usually at, I'm at my desk doing this and that, working. Uh, but today I have an unusual amount of energy. <laughs> and um, so physical labor is on board. And when, when, when I do chores, I listen to audiobooks. So I started listening to Stephen Fry's Mythos. I bought the book, but then um, my brother Mark told me it was the audiobook was five dollars on apple books and i thought oh that'd be good to also listen to so um i'm going to clean something i put off cleaning all the time i don't know are you guys like this um i'm not good at cleaning things that don't seem like they should be dirty and they don't seem like they should be dirty because like you use soap in them and the main thing I'm talking about is the shower. I am so bad at cleaning the shower. Why does the shower get dirty? Like you use soap in the shower, but of course your showers get dirty and gross. And um, this one is super fantastic at getting yucky. I have more grout lines in this shower than, uh, than anyone could wish upon their enemy. So uh, yeah, so I'm... I started a little bit on the floors and then I got to do the glass and then I got to do the walls. Well, walls, the glass will be last. So why don't you guys come join me? Maybe this will inspire you to do some cleaning and listen to your audiobooks. The Hecaton Kyrie's in the earth. Mythos is playing and uh, Zeus has just taken over Cronus. These are exciting times. Okay, well, isn't this fun? <laughs> but it's done. I've been putting it off for so long. So while the um, gods are about to battle the titans in Mythos, um, Susan battled her shower. And most of it I cleaned with water and vinegar. I had some shower tile cleaner from Mrs. Myers from like over a year ago. So that's what I was using on the floor. The rest was water and vinegar. It feels good. I mean, it looks sparkly. The sun isn't shining in, so that will be the true test of if I got all the water stains, but I'm happy with myself. And it's fun to listen to the gods and the titans battle it out while you get your chores done. Just a recommendation. Well, the chores are done for the day after you guys saw me working on the master shower. I went ahead and did the, the, the floors in there and cleaned the bathtub. And I had already cleaned the powder or the um, water closet yesterday. So the master bathroom is completely clean right now. And I won't want to take a shower in that shower for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> when this happens every time I clean it, I just end up then wanting to admire how sparkly it is. And I go shower in the guest showers, but that is completely neurotic and I really shouldn't uh, do that. But anyway, it is now literally time for fun and games. 5.30, Wednesday night, and I ordered this off Amazon last week. It just came in today. Um, by way of introduction, you know how, like, so right now, if you're watching this far in the future, we're going through a pandemic. Uh, we're going through COVID-19. 
and um, we're still under stay at home order. And you know how there's this really good feeling when you do something that other people are also doing. Like it brings this feeling of connection with others, even though you're not in the same place. And so I need that connection and I got me a puzzle because it seems like oh so many people during this pandemic are doing puzzles. And I'm gonna be frank, I have not completed a puzzle in decades. And this is not going to be easy. This is a thousand piece puzzle of Jane Austen covers. So they're all her books, different covers, different languages. It came with this mini poster. So I'm guessing this is what I'm going to be recreating. And, um, and the pieces are really tiny, but I'm excited. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue. This is what I was listening to while I was cleaning Mythos by Stephen Fry. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to time limit myself on working on this puzzle because sometimes when I um, start something, um, I, I have trouble like leaving it and going to something else. But I'm not going to spend my whole evening working on that puzzle. That is Zuzu. Um, if you hear a bark in the background. Um, so I think I'm going to I'll start with a half an hour. I don't want to spend more than an hour, but I'll start within half an hour and see what I, how I feel. And I'm a little intimidated. I'm not going to lie. This, this looks like serious business, but it's going to be lovely when it's done. So, so yeah, a little mythos, a little Greek mythology and Jane Austen. I don't know how well they pair together, but we're going to do it. All right. Well, Oh, I've got my work cut out for me. Yes. All right. Let's get this party started. All right. It is just after 7 p.m. So I may have gone slightly more than an hour, but I was bound and determined to get all the edges done. I'm so excited, but there, there's there's work to do. I've been listening to Mythos this whole time, but um, I'm going to have to put an end to this fun for tonight. I don't know, I gotta cover this somehow. I have two cats. <laughs> they would have a field day up here, especially Emily. But um, so, so I'm gonna stop on the puzzle tonight and I need to start listening or reading, I'm sorry, um, The Indigo Girl. Uh, I'm part of I can't help you with that on Apple Watch. I'm part of a monthly book club and of course since um the quarantine we haven't met the last 2 months. So we are going to um uh we just decided today we're going to do a Zoom book club next week and I hadn't read the book because I knew we wouldn't be getting together. So I need to read the Indio Indigo Girl. Have you read that? I've heard good things about it. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to have to cover up this puzzle somehow. And then, uh, then I'm going to read the Indigo Girl. Come with me. Okay. So, um, um, I'm going to start reading the Indigo Girl. I don't even really know what it's about, but, uh, it's a 4.29 on Goodreads. So that is good. Here's the book description. An incredible story of dangerous and hidden friendships, ambition, betrayal, and sacrifice. The year is 1739. Eliza Lucas is 16 years old when her father leaves her in charge of their family's three plantations in rural South Carolina and then proceeds to bleed the estates dry in pursuit of his military ambitions. Tensions with the British and with the Spanish in Florida just a short way down the coast are rising and slaves are starting to become restless. Her mother wants nothing more than for their South Carolina endeavor to fail so they can go back to England. Soon her family is in danger of losing everything. This is actually quite a long description, so I'm going to cut to the end. Um, uh, it says, although largely overlooked by historians, the accomplishments of Eliza Lucas influenced the course of U.S. history. When she passed away in 1793, President George Washington served as a pallbearer at her funeral. This book is set between 1739 
1744, with romance, intrigue, forbidden friendships, and political and financial threats weaving together to form the story of a remarkable young woman whose actions were before their time, the story of the Indigo Girl. Well, geez Louise, I think <laughs> I think this is going to be right up my alley. I used to be obsessed with the revolutionary um, period. So, um, wow. I mean, this is pre-revolution if it's from 1739 to 1744. But the fact that in 1793, Washington was a pallbearer at the main character's funeral, I mean good golly like that's a lot um like I said it's a it's a 4.29 um, on Goodreads and it was released in October 2017 so this is what I'm gonna do with the rest of my night it's eight o'clock and I mean I'm tired <laughs> Um, I don't know how long I'll stay awake. I'll at least be up till like 930. But if I could stay up till 10 and put two good hours of reading in, my book club is next Wednesday. So that's plenty of time. Um, but I'm going to end this vlog here kind of like a day in the life of a reader slash neurotic slash clean freak. And um, if you've watched it this long, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Bye.